back. We are back. We are back. We are back. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on, everybody? Yeah, well, what a week it has been. What a week it has been. And we are just getting into it. Tonight, we're going to round it out with uh, what I consider to be a pretty damn epic show. What's going on? See, you can't find my bulbs. So anyway, let's start off with my favorite candle. One of my favorite candles. Suntal 26 from La La Boat. That'll get us there. And what's going on with the candle, with the lights here? Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Boom. There we go. All right. So, tonight's show. Ladies, why are modern women so angry? Angry, heated, hostile, pissed off, upset. Ready to kill a ninja. Over what? You know, women... Are, are, are you're more educated, the most free any other group of women has ever been in the history of mankind. You can do what you want. You can do how you want. You know, can't nobody tell you nothing, right? Ladies can do whatever they want. Am I missing something, guys? Ladies, am I missing something? Because I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't understand why so many women are so upset. Whatever, I'll do what I want. I mean, y'all can do what you want. You can do what you want, how you want. You can come and go as you please. You can get your... I'm a PhD. You can get your... You can do whatever you want. Yet, increasingly, especially here in the States, in America, women are becoming more tired, report being more tired, more overweight, more sick, and more angry than in any other time in history. Why is that? Why is that? Well, I've got a modest suggestion. I think I know why it is. I think I know why it is. I think it's because so many women today are simply alone. Alone, meaning you lack relationship. No, no. You're not alone in the sense that many of you tonight are out with your girlfriends doing girlfriend stuff, right? A lot of women are out doing girlfriend type stuff, but you're not happy. Meaning that when the foot when you first show up to the restaurant and you're out with your group of four. You know, you and you and three others, when you guys all arrive in your little black dresses and you're all looking good and smelling good and you get seated and you got to go to the restaurant and it's on a wait. So you get you a nice little cocktail and you and your lady friends, you and your girlfriends get to sit there and chit chat and talk about what's going on, this or that, who's dating who, who's seeing who, you know, all the catch up stuff. You know, it's a 30 to 45 minute wait and you guys are killing time. Well, see, there used to be a time when men would actually step to a group of women like that and like approach and women could actually get a pregame show kind of with men because somebody may try to actually holler at them. Well, that's pretty much done now. Men in general are not stepping to women because uh, honestly, they're getting tired of the attitude. Many men, when you ask, are getting tired of the entitled, presumptive, just the, even if you're not interested, ladies, there's a way to, t- to say that. But, you know, it seems to be, especially some women seem to enjoy nuclear rejecting guys. And guys are just done with it. They're like, forget it. So you're there with your lady friends. And you guys are waiting on your table. The table finally comes open. You're sitting there. The server comes. Used to be you had 
you know, guys like myself as servers. Well, the servers today, a bunch of young dudes that look like they may or may not like women and a bunch of just, you don't have good looking servers like, 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 like me, like we used to look. Hello, ladies. How are we doing tonight? You got six foot four, 200 pounds of sexual chocolate standing in front of you dressed in his starched white shirt and his vest and his pins and his apron smelling like, uh, what was that fragrance back in the day? Isi Miyake. And I come up to you and start speaking to each one of you. And you will, and we would like to start off with a bottle of Kendall Jackson. Great, great. You'll have a Greek salad for four, split two, eight. Greek salad for two by four. Great. You'll have the salmon. You'll have the lobster thermidor. You'll have the black and red fish vet, And you're going to have the shrimp brochette. We'd like to start off with fondue for the table. And I'm just sitting there macking all you mother suckers. Got the wine. I'm doing the whole service. Pouring your wine. You're getting your appetizer and your, your crab, your, your crawfish bisque and your gumbo. And you're just sitting back. Damn, girl. Uh-huh. Because the brothers used to do stuff like that. Sit there and wait on the table. So you got the men before used to talk to you. The servers used to could at least you could have a man serving you. Afterwards, check comes. Somebody may try to grab one of you or your girlfriends and holler at you before you leave. And then you're out and about out to the nightclub to go dance and do it all over again. But eh, that ain't your reality. What I just described to you sounds like straight out of a 1990s, early 2000s. Uh, black romance because that ain't your world. That ain't been your world in a long... You ain't never seen that. Your server is looking like you. That's right. Your server looking like you. Four women being served by a bunch of women. And if anybody probably tried to holler at you, it's the stud that was sitting at the bar with her, with, with her femme. And what's going on? You still eat that entire meal because you know when you leave, there's no club or anything to go to. So you might as well fill up on that comfort food. And what happens? You're getting fatter. And fat leads to sick. Fat leads to sick and sick leads to tired. And tired leads to alone. And then you're angry because you look around and say, I got this. I got my... I got my. I'm a PhD. I got my PhD. <laughs> got my dog. Got my BMW. Which did I went to Howard? I went to Spelman, but ain't no man anywhere nearby. I'm the prospect to be his wife. And as COVID starts to set in, as the CV starts to come around, you know what's going on. We're here to the second round of the uh, of this dark winter. What's going on, ladies? Hmm? What's going on? What What do you start hearing from many women? Because you're out of college and you've been out for five years. You're firmly in the danger zone. You all up in the danger zone. You all up in the danger zone. And this goes on year after year after year after year after year. And you're looking at your non-black co-workers and they're getting married in their late 20s, early, early to mid 20s you know, late twenties, at best, early thirties. They're mostly all married. 60, 70% of them are gone and, and looking like 80% of the sisters are still unmarried. And you're staring down the danger zone, but you still feel you 30. Think of how many 30 year old women that called into my show sounding every bit like, you know, they still think they're in their, in their twenties. How many 29th birthdays are you women going to have before you just accept the fact that you 30? And then just like that, you skip straight on out of the danger zone into what? You skip straight on out of the danger zone, right into that no man's land. Tumbleweeds. That's what your social calendar looks like, ladies. Because see, this this weekend, 
I'm rounding it out. But next weekend, I'll have my my mixer here. And after that, I'm on a plane to uh, Beverly Hills for a week. Then I'll fly probably back out to Manhattan. Bottom line is, you know, it's pretty damn sexy and pretty damn good to be a man these days. Because right now, while you ladies are coupled up and huddled up in groups of two, four, six, eight, looking like Noah's Ark all jammed in there together, men have the option to, to decide to date. And unfortunately, because the guys that would normally approach you for drinks and things like that, you shot them down. They're not even trying to talk to women like yourselves anymore. They're waiting for women who actually are enthusiastic and exuberant. See, we're going to so many women in general, black women in particular, are so angry because you have to compete now and you don't know how to do it. Shout out to Obsidian. He was talking today about how many women want the boyfriend experience. Let me explain what that means. In escorting, when a woman is an escort, there is something that escorts can provide. It's called the GFE. It's the girlfriend experience, meaning her client is just not wanting to take, is just not wanting her to be there for the evening, even if they have relations or not, they want the ultimate. They want the boy, the girlfriend experience, which means she acts like she's his girlfriend. That's intimate. That in, that involves kissing on the lips, French kissing, hugging, cuddling, everything that you would get in a relationship and high end escorts get paid very, very well to provide a girlfriend experience for their clients. They get premium dollars for this. Trust me. Now, women today, the reason many of you want to go on 50, 11 million dates before you decide to have sex with a man you're already attracted to is because so many of you are trying to get that boyfriend experience. Obsidian was right. But the problem is, you want to end up having relations with this guy over here and then try to cobble together a boyfriend experience from a, a Frankenstein's monster medley of guys that only the luckiest of you even have the opportunity to date. Many of you, if you're not an eight, nine or 10, you don't have a rotation. If you're an adjustable six, you may have one or two guys trying to take you out. Now, see, that's the difference between in your inbox trying to Netflix and chill, but actually taking you out on a date where there's a hundred dollars per head. Yeah, you ain't getting that unless you are an adjustable six close to that on that eight, eight, nine or somebody runs into a 10. And what's that? What's the problem with that? The problem with that is. 50 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, women who were sixes, cute, not Instagram model baddie, just women who were cute, were dating. Listen to the women who call into my show. How many have not been, had a man in eight years? Young women, 20, in their early 20s, aren't even dating. Longest relationship, 90 days. Uh, uh, shout out to Ike. Longest relationship, 90 days. Your 90 day relationships. I am the king and will not be. I, 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 am, the, I, am, the, I am the king and will king, king, not be. The official Ike theme. Why am I running all this down? I'm running all this down, ladies, because I understand why many of you today are angry. You're angry because you're tired. You're working. You're working like a mad woman. You're working because you got that PhD. You got to get out of here and make them ends meet because them BMW payments aren't going to make themselves. The, the condo or that nice space in the city ain't going to pay for itself. Them credit card bills to do, college loans to do, the Manolo Blonic, uh, you know Saint Laurent pumps, Louboutin, everything that you're, everything that you have to try to 
show everybody that you're a successful single and unbothered cost and you had to pay for it. No one's buying you, you know, uh, YSL or Celine bags. You bought those. You know that. And Michael Kors, Tory, Tory Burke, whatever it is, whatever your particular bag, you bought it. So when you put that little black dress on and trying to show everybody how unbothered you are, the fact of the matter is we know you are bothered. We know you're bothered because a lot of women today look like this. What I'm showing right now is women, size zero to size 28 in a little black dress. But what I need you to understand is all of these women, all of them, all of them, to some degree or another, are trying to act as if they are just fine. Life is good. But what you see with these women and what I see with these women are two different things. Oh, let's see. We're trying to get that in there. All right. So here we go. Uh, that's too small. Let's take our picture a picture. All right. Glamour asked 15 women sizes 0 to 28 to model the same little black dress. And this is what I see in Atlanta when I go out everywhere. Women in little black dresses and groups of them by themselves. This is a dress size four, people. And you can even see a little pooch on that, but that's a dress size four. Four. She looks about average height. Dress size four. Now, I want you to look. Look at the roundness in her shoulders. She's not, you know, cut up. But but she's not fat. That's a four. When you hear these women talking about their... Oh, let me just go ahead and play it. Let's go ahead and play it. I want you to focus on the two, four, six, and eight. Because... Now women are calling in saying I'm a dress size eight, but I want you to understand the difference in one dress. Let's get it. That's an eight. That's a 28. Let's go back here. That's an eight. That's an eight. That's the, that woman looks like she should have at least had three kids by now. And that's an eight. And there are a lot of women who think she probably needs to put on some weight. That's the that's the top end <laughs> of a Southern woman who's had three kids and still needs to lose it. That's it. And how many women today ain't been this size since high school? 28. Somebody tell me that woman right there looks happy to you. Women are tired, sick, fatter, and angry. Tell me that woman looks ha ha happy to you. Mm-hmm. 28. Dress size 20. I want you to start imagining when these women are trying to tell us that they feel great and that they're that that you know that there ain't no problem and when i start telling you the weight of these women the size chart a big reason a lot of women are so angry today is because they've allowed themselves to believe that a man should accept them any way they are and ladies your weight is why so many average and cute women in years gone by are no longer married Middle class guys, average earning guys, above average guys are not going to marry women that are bigger than them. You're this way because which came first, the chicken or the egg? Let's see. That's a size 18. 
That woman right there, if she was dark skinned, if she was black, she would tell you she's fine. If she were, sorry, if she were black, she would tell you how fine she is. Uh, first off, y'all are tripping. You're tripping. We don't. I told you get the likes up. Nope. First off, we need the likes up, and we're gonna need 15 people to drop at least two dollars in them. We got almost three thousand people in here, and two people are donating. We're gonna have four. No, not me. Mm-mm. Y'all got me fucked. Mm-mm. No. 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 Get them up. Y'all ain't gonna work me to death for nothing. I think I'm pretty reasonable, people. Just get the likes up. Come on, 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 come on. Zap, 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 zap. All right, so here we go. Tired, angry, overweight, ladies. This is what all those meals out with your girlfriends and not getting the gym. This is what not intermittent fasting. This is what not paying attention to the way you look to us. Pay attention to the way you look to us, the men. I will tell you right now, there is no way in Hades a man who has worked his ass off should have to should have to deal with this. Nope. Nope. Size 10. Look at that. Size 10. This is a 10. And you can start to see it. The ankles. The pooch. That she she's built like she built like a two liter. And women think that a size 10 is just fine. Ladies. You're twice the size you should be. As let's get on. That's a size six. Let's go back to size six. What did I tell you? Boom. That's a wife right there. That's a wife. That's a wife. That's as much as a wife leads. She no bigger than that for the rest of your life, wife. Thank you, Maddie. That's a wife and that's a sister. You can see curves. She's not Instagram freakish. And it's another thing. I'm going to start clapping on you Instagram freaks, but you waist trainers. Ladies, you're built for fun. Nobody marries you. Bernice Virgos kind of looking women. That's for fun. This is for marriage. This is for LTRs. 14. Look at that. How many women will tell you? I'm a dress size 14. I'm a dress size 14. Look at this. She built like Peter Griffith. I'm sorry. No. Too much, ladies. And this is a sister right here. Too much. Too much. Look at that. You weigh more than the average man. You're going to be tired. You think this woman has the energy to pull off a a, a 12-hour day? 
You think she has the energy to run a house with three kids and take care of her high value guy? Come on, man. Oh, let me go ahead and slow the chat down. Y'all going ham up in here. And ladies, I, why are women so angry? Because you are overweight. And overweight leads to no dates. You're alone because you're overweight. This is You don't get the boyfriend experience. Why you see me dressed all in black tie? Because uh, I, I, I go out like this. When I date, I dress. We go out. And if, if you could hear the uh, lady friends, that I, when we go out, they're like, dang, you look, yes. And trust me, I don't go out with a woman this size. Never, ever, 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 ever. Here's the top end. Top end. Top end. Bigger than that, you got to scat. You got to go. Why? What? Huh? What? I gotta go. Yeah, you got to go. Me, me. No, I need to be able to pick you up and handle you. What do you mean? 14, dress size two. Oh, a two is so skinny. A two is so skinny. A two is so skinny. No, they are not. Well, I guess when you are 14, a two is, but here's a two and here's a six, two, six, two, six. Ooh, two is so skinny. Well, when you are an 18 or 20 or 28, yes, a two or a six would look skinny but see when you go out you look at a table and she's sitting there there's usually a man across from her when she's there ain't nothing but a plate of bread <laughs> when she's there there's some other women and a questionable server okay size 12 hold on let me, let me get on back that's size 2 that's 12. No, thank you. Nope. 12, 14, you start to notice that it becomes less and less forgiving the more up, the higher up you go. Hold on. That's a 12. This woman is every bit of 165, 175 pounds. So when these women call in here, I'm I'm a dress size eight and 175 pounds. Just know you can't lie to me. I'm a pro with this. I'm a I'm a I'm 175 pounds of dress size eight. French toast you are. Twenty four. That's Lonnie Love right there. That's Lonnie Lovable. Think about the stress load that's on them ankles. And those heels are screaming for sweet Jesus. Feet look like they just popped a can on the, on the side of the biscuit. Look, that is not attractive. A man does not want to go out and compete to come home to this. And ladies, the only reason, the, the major reason why so many of you are alone is because you refuse to understand that men want women who are smaller than them. Let's finish this and get on into it. So y'all want visuals? There's the visual. Dress size zero. 24, zero, 24, zero, 24. Oh, don't put don't put don't put Now see, if I played this with her, that wouldn't even make sense. That don't make sense, but that does. Look at that. 24, 22. Ooh, yeah. We want to go invent, we want to go invent uh, space travel. 
for that. Yes. 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 I cannot wait to make dinner re reservation at Maestro's a Maestro's for this. Yes. Yes. I cannot wait to order her the six ounce filet. I ordered this woman a six ounce filet. She's going to look at me like something like some crazy. What? A six ounce filet. What is that? My drink? No, that's your meal. A six ounce filet? Man, you better give me that porterhouse or that cowboy uh, ribeye. No, I'm eating a cowboy ribeye. No, dog. I need a cowboy ribeye sandwich for my appetizer. No. This is why you're upset, ladies. 26. Zero. Now, the guys who would, here's the thing. Would you rather have a 26 or zero? And I can tell you, look at a man's financial statements. And the broker he is, the more he likes that. The more money he's got, the more he's going to, he likes this. These are for men. This is what men with money get. Henry's high earners, not rich yet. High value men, hit squad, blue Henry's, Blake Henry's, whatever you want to call them. The top 30% to the top 20% to the top 10% to the top five to the top three to the top one. This is what they want. This is what guys who are making $20,000 or $40,000 a year, 40 grand. She's going to be like this. And think you she doing you a favor. You don't see guys with who the ladies, you don't see men making six figures plus with this. I want to be six, I want to make six figures, six feet tall or better with a six pack. Okay, well, do you look like this? Zero, two, four, six. That's it, bitches. This is it. This is your life. If you are not here, 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 get out. I know there are people that tell you, oh, it don't matter what your weight is. And as long as you healthy and your blood pressure, whatever, whatever, you don't see men of means dealing with things that are bigger than them. Top end right there. That's the top end. That's post baby. So let me show you how this works. Zero, not my particular taste. But for guys who are thinner, maybe, you know, not as tall as I am. You know, my Asian brothers, my Hispanic brothers, who guys who tend not to be as, you know, tall. Zero, just fine. Two is really, kind of, this is where... Especially my white guys. This is one of my, my Caucasian brothers. They tend to love this area. The zero to two, my Caucasian and my Asian brothers tend to love this area. Here's a, that's, but here's where a lot of, you know, Hispanic and brothers start. Right here. Four. That's why I always give you a dress size four. She has a butt. She also has ankles. Look at that thing on her face. It's called a smile. Because she knows that she could walk down the aisle. Smiles walk down aisles. Oh! <laughs> Smiles walk down aisles. Oh, my God! Smiles walk down aisles. Smiles walk down aisles. And, and here's the thing. I'll tell you another thing in the comment section. And look, watch the women get angry. They're going, well, what, well, what, well, what? Here's the thing, ladies. Close your mouth and listen to what the men are saying. It don't matter what you think. It don't matter if you think it's fair. It doesn't matter if you like it. Because guess what? This is what men require. To date, get serious with, and marry. And if you aren't going to do it, you won't get it. Just like you, your, your looks and your body to a man is just like a man's money, his resources, and his outcomes are to you. And it ain't going to change. So sit down, shut up, pay attention, and do better if you want better. 
because too many of you ladies are trying to get men to accept lower their standards. And a man wants a woman to be fit and cooperative. And I'm trying to show you what it looks like Two, four. And when I hear guys talk about, I want 10, that's just cause you're broke. I get it. You're broke. You're broke compared to the guys I'm talking about. Sure. You may have a, and, and here's, let me also say this to be nice, to be fair. Many of you guys who want women who are bigger is because you're raised by your mama and your mama was big. Your map was set with unhealthy women. But I ask you this for all you guys who say you want a woman of a certain weight. Oh, I like 10 or 12, right? If you had $500 million in the bank, would you still want a woman that size as your wife? Four, six, eight. This is a woman who is, all right, eight, under 30, 18 to 30, five foot four or less, dress size up to six. Over age 30, the same woman can go up to a dress size eight. Eight is the top end, ladies. Five foot four and under. Women who are five, seven and above 18 to 30. You can go up one dress size zero to eight. Over 30, the same women five foot seven and above. You get to go up to a dress size 10. So unless you're five, if you're five, seven and a dress size 10 already, you have no room to grow. That means a man is looking at you and he has to automatically tack on 30 pounds minimum. Why? Because if he's going to be with you, marry you, children are going to put on baby weight. Life is going to put on weight. If you're five, seven and a hundred and you're a dress size 10, that means you're going to automatically be, that means 20 years from now, he can expect you to be a dress size 14, 16. And for sake of argument, I'll go back and understand something. I'm just talking about across the board. I'm not talking about for income levels. I'm just talking about for rank and file, middle class guys. When you start talking about men who are higher earners, uh, influential professionals, uh, the smaller the woman gets. Oh, I know y'all mad at me, but you're mad at me because you're not mad at me, though. What you're mad at is the fact that what I'm saying, whether you agree with it 100 percent or not, it holds a lot of truth. And you know that you have not been a dress size two or four since junior high. You, ha you ain't been to the gym in years. You eat a horrible diet. And you have been in your ability to inter have intercourse does not net him, does not a long term relationship make. So let's get on through it. Eight. Ten. Yeah, you starting to get out. See, I'm just looking at the ankles. It's starting to kind of get there right there, man. You know, she's not bad. But she she's starting to get there. I mean, I don't want it. Unless the only way I would want that is after she's had my child. I will love that if you have my. Yes, thank you. Because I put that on you. Kevin Jr. put that on you. But just coming to me with that. No, thank you. Twelve. See, let's go back. Zero two. Four, that's a wife right there. Six, that's a wife right there. Top in. Ooh, she even threw a hip out right there. Hey, girl. Eight, that's a mother. Ten, that's a mother. That's a PhD. I'm a PhD. That's a PhD right there. <laughs> She's starting to look for dogs. Oh, yeah, she's got several of them. Yeah, she's straight up. I'm a PhD. 
Hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, uh, straight. Just keep it going. Just the, the old... The, no. No. Why don't I show you that? Because, ladies... Just because you can... You, you have a... You can do what you want. Just because you can do what you want. And, and, and you can... Do what I want. Because you can do what you want. Because you can have sex without any strings. Because you can live where you want to live. Because you can go to college, get a master's, get a PhD. I'm a PhD. You can become whatever you want. You can hold whatever office. Just because you're the freest, all this other kind of stuff, that's fine. But when it gets right down to it, when you sit across from a man, he's still the same man that we have been for hundreds of thousands of years. We don't care about your job. We care about how you look, how fit you are. And across the board, you do yourself a better better job by keeping the weight down because if you don't want to be tired, alone, sick, angry, drop the weight and give yourself a chance to not be alone, which in effect, which which helps to correct the which helps to correct being tired because you got someone else to share the burdens of life and when you are sick you don't feel so bad why does this why is this such a troubling message because ladies unlike previous generations who seem to get the seem to get that they needed to do something You've been told that just because you can attract a man and swipe left, swipe right and have intercourse with him, that that's enough. Well, it's not working. Ladies, why are you if if here's my question to you. Why are you so angry today? I think you're angry because you can't get relationships with the kind of men you want. I think that's why so many women are angry, because you cannot get relationships with the man you want. But I'm willing to hear the conversation. I'm willing to hear your point of view. But if you guys want the call line open, let's see how we're doing on the likes. All right. Here's the thing. I only say one thing. I'll be nice to you if you're nice to me. You will be. I, ladies, we really want to hear why you're so angry. Why are women so angry today? We want to hear from your mouth. We want to hear from your mouth. Why are you so angry today? Why is it you can't seem to interact with guys longer than an orgasm or 90 days and it's over? What's going on with you ladies? Why is it you don't want to go to the gym and get fit and do all the things that you know? Why don't you want to give men what they want from you? Let's talk about it, ladies, because inquiring minds would like to know. Because at the end of the day, uh, the clock is running. Clock is running. Money work. Clock is running. Clock is running. Clock is running. El mundo quiere dinero. Money work. Se arregla con dinero. Money work. Si me quiero educar. En algún lugar, un lugar para trabajar, eh, y si no hay para emigrar, todo money, money, todo el dinero, solo un par de gente se lleva el botín entero, funny, funny, pasa verdadero, si tienen la verde siempre llegará primero, I'm a PhD, antes o después, solo a los suyos, que Dios te lo ve, que por más que tarde lo veré caer, somos malos buenos y tenemos que el dinero, ya lo veré. Yo vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande, no olvidaré De donde vengo, ni como güey Money work yeah. El mundo quiere dinero She's a PhD Money work PhD Se arregla con dinero But she can't keep no man
Money work. She's fat and has a fluffy bum. She's mad cause she can't keep her son. Porque mis sentimientos se volvieron la canción. Yeah. No me vale mucho como tú me ves. Sabes tú me llevas solo a los pies. Para mí ser grande es un interés. Ser un buen humano para mí es un deber. El dinero ya lo veré. No vendo mi alma lo lograré. Seré el más grande no olvidaré. De dónde vengo ni cómo voy. But she can't keep no man. Money work. PhD. But she can't keep a man. Money work. The corazón, the corazón. La plata no te hace ser feliz. Ella de corazón, de corazón. Money work. El mundo quiere dinero. Yeah 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 yeah. Money work. PhD. PhD. But she can't keep a man. Money work. PhD. Lunatic. Lunatic. Fat asshole. God, I'm going to hell. Oh my God, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I did not say that. Scratch, 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 scratch. I didn't say that. Did I really say that? All right, PAD. But she can't keep no man. That's so damn sad. PhD. Oh, you're going to sit down somewhere. You can't be walking and talking. And your, your, um, your sound is not connected either. Um, so. <laughs> All right. PhD. But I can't keep a man. All right. Ariel Oliver. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello. How are you? I am well. But the question is, how are you? Why are women so angry today? So um, this is something I've been thinking about since I've been listening to your uh, channel. And I think so many women are angry because um, they've essentially turned themselves into the men that they want. And they can't find or have a hard time finding um, men similar to them. Um, since a lot of the time uh, they say they want a man, a man at their level. Um, but for whatever reason, they just cannot um, find or keep them. Okay. Women have turned themselves into the men that they want. <laughs> as far um, as the education there um, you go now we're gonna we got to be clear on that because women today also want men who are attractive fit and in shape right. i mean lizzo says she wants a in, in shape man so i can't agree that women have turned themselves into the men that they want right so uh what about your girlfriends your homegirls um so I don't, say, I, don't have, uh, I don't have a lot of girlfriends. Mm -hmm. um, the few that I have are from school. Um, they are, um, a lot of them are single. A few of them are married. Um, well, how, by, just so we know, how old are you, by the way? I'm 30. All right. So 30 years old. Did you go to college? I did. Yes. Uh, and uh, are you married? Single what? I'm currently single. Um in a relationship but not married. Okay. Um do you want to be married? I do. How long have you been in your relationship? It was one year October fifth. One year October fifth. Mm -hmm. And uh, is he older than you, or younger than you? What? 
He's 20 years older. Okay. Does he want to marry you? Um, That's an awful long pause. Yeah, I, I don't know. We we talked about it about three months into our relationship um, as far as what we wanted, uh, what we or how we saw ourselves in five years. Um, we talked about how we wanted to be married and have kids, not necessarily to each other because we were still um, getting to know each other. But um, essentially at that time, he said he wasn't at the uh, financial level. So in level. other words, no, he doesn't want to marry you. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but let's just get right on to it. You're 30 years old. You're not a you're not a girl, right? Been a year a relationship with a guy for a year, and I ask you for a year, does he want to marry you? And you just basically you recited war and peace. See, that's another reason why women are so angry today because you just can't be honest. Why not just say no? He doesn't want to marry me. Well, uh, I don't know what he's planning. Really, ma'am? See, this, this, this hard veneer that you black women carry, no one can see you. It's just me and you talking. But you don't know what he's planning. Has he taken you ring shopping? No. So let's take it away from you and him. How does a man who wants to marry a woman act? What does he do? What are some of the things he does? Um, he makes sure his finances are in order. He... No, I'm not talking about what he do for with the woman. See, first thing, when a man wants to marry you, he wants to get to know your family. He wants to take you around his family. He starts right. introducing you to his life. He doesn't speak vaguely. He's very specific. He actually tries to find out if you, what kind of stone you would like with an engagement ring. So let's cut it out, lady. He's done none of these things. Right. So... It's going to hurt, but does that make you happy? Uh, no, All right, <laughs> it doesn't. How do you feel about this then? Uh, well, the, uh, the uncertainty of it, um, it's scary <laughs> to think about. So when I ask you a simple question, does he want to marry you? Why not just be honest? Yeah. And I'll tell you why you don't want to be honest, because so, so many black women are emotionally constipated. I sat here and looked mm -hmm. at your expression, and it was just basically blank. Why is this important, audience? Because this is another reason why so many women are mad, angry, because they don't have a full emotional, uh, a full emotional um, range. Black women, in particular, black women have anger which is attitude, sass, the Jezebel, the Sapphire. See, they have that. And that's it. Like one speed. There's not, a, there's not an entire range of human emotion. And see, when I was in therapy myself, I was emotionally cut off and constipated. I could tell you what I thought. I could tell you what, what how I should be, but I could not really explain myself or emote and I had to learn how over again. And so many of you women have gotten to the point to where you just, you don't feel anything. You're emotionally numb. So where I ask a question and it's like, well, I'm not going to access my feelings 
because that's too raw. So I'm going to just give you a, a general vague answer. But there's still a person under there. Right. And if you ladies don't start becoming more honest and wearing your heart on your sleeve like women are allowed to, because honestly, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he's a good, solid dude. Mm -hmm. But the way you're talking right now, why does he need to marry you? You seem like everything's just okay. Whatever, I'm good. I'll take it. Men fix problems. Have you told him there's a problem? I haven't. Right. No. Ladies, you can't expect us to be mind readers. So honestly, you're in the position right now that you've created, man. So while may, you may not be overtly angry, this kind of stuff becomes passive aggressive. And this low grade hostility, this relation, if this relationship were to end, who in the audience thinks that she would not take this out on the next guy? All because you won't get honest. You said early on, you guys talked about being wanting to be married. Not specifically to one another, but just in general. You shouldn't have let it go past 90 days. Say something. I don't know. I'm just taking it all in what you're saying. I know you're taking it all in, but you're not saying anything. You're acting like a man. That's how men are supposed to act. Just a strong, strong, silent. I'm just. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but, um, I mean, everything you said, uh, uh, is is true and um, there are things that I have to work on. You can't do it by yourself. How can you work I can't. On it? I know. Yeah. That's why I keep trying to get you to understand, man. You sitting there like like you're strong or some shit. Why are these ladies so afraid to be vulnerable? And this is why you not, and why am I doing this? For people in the audience, for the women in the audience, because what is Strength does not get protected. So many black women complain about being unprotected, but you walk around like em emotional midgets, refusing to be soft, refusing to be girly, refusing to be vulnerable, strong, independent. I don't need no man. I'm unbothered. I don't need nothing. And then when men say, oh, okay, good. She's all right. Mm. When you're really saying, I'm scared, I'm terrified, I'm vulnerable, I don't know how to say this. Help me, save me from myself. I don't like this. I want something else. That's what's screaming on the inside. But unless you, and that's your responsibility to fix, ladies. Not by watching YouTube videos, by getting in therapy and doing the work. Because you cannot change how you were raised, but you cannot go through life like this as grown women and emotional children. You can't get mad at this man for not moving forward because she has not required it. She's not made it a response. She hasn't even said what she, she, what she wants, needs, or desires. She's just happy to be there. For as far as he's concerned, he's doing the right thing. I don't know what city or state you're in, man, but I would say you need to get into some counseling. I'm assuming mom and dad didn't raise you. They both raised me. Okay. Um, what does your dad say about this guy? He hasn't met him yet, but um, and this my guy's how mom... much older than you? I'm sorry. This guy's how much older than you? Twenty. 
you're dating a 50 year old man and your father hasn't met him? No, not yet. Does he know about him? Yes. Does he want to meet him? Yes. Why hasn't he met him? Uh, just because of COVID, um, traveling uh, there. And it's, that is true. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? He hasn't met him because your man don't want to meet him. Your man don't want to meet your father. Let's just get honest, man. He doesn't want to meet your father. I said one of the first things a man does is want to meet your people. He doesn't sound like he wants to marry you, man. And you need to start getting real with that. You need to have that conversation. Because just sitting there hoping he's going to change ain't going to do anything. And if you leave this situation emotionally constipated and angry, do not take this out on another unsuspecting man. That's my ultimate point. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, so many, uh, so many sisters just are just too, you're too damn hard. You're just too damn hard. Hello. Uh, first off, you need to introduce yourself. Why'd you turn the light out? Why? 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 And you want to go over talk me? And you're not listening, lady. This is this is a talk show. Either you're going to do it the way I ask you to do it, or I'm going to bid you a good night. You have light capabilities? Thank you. Please be reasonable. What would you like to say? I want to say there's a lot of gender biases within the black male black female community. On one instance, I have noticed that even though I'm in shape as a black woman, I have a job. I am very passionate towards a black man, I do want to point out that even though I've done a lot of these things, there are biases that I see within black men where if you don't fit or portray a certain phenotype or a certain hold on, hold on. Let me let me, let me, that, let me, let me, let me stop. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Tell me about your relationships because what you're saying is very vague in general and, and, and due respect, ma'am, I hear it a lot from women, black women in particular about what's global what about what happens in your relationships agree i talked to about three black men total about three within okay. just a two-week period all right and uh one's a security guard okay. works at my job all right. the other one works in a gym okay and the other one um his younger guy works a night shift okay at the same gym okay. and i noticed that um at first they're friendly when you try to meet them. At first they're like, they're kind to you and everything. I tried to be, you know, patient, understanding everything, you know, try to be open. And then I notice like, you know, I'm exercising, you know, I, I'm very passive, very feminine, very working out. All of a sudden they decide just like, they don't want to talk to me anymore. I didn't say anything wrong. It was just, I don't know, like, let what me, did let me I stop. Do? Hold on, Gio. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. What you cannot know is why they did what they did. Let's stop right here. You said everything was going okay, and then all of a sudden they didn't want to talk to you anymore, right? Right. Hold Just on. for no reason. No, no, no. Okay. There's always a reason, ma'am. Human beings do stuff for reasons. One, two, all three of them just didn't want to start, just stop talking to you, right? No, it's just like they stopped showing up for their shifts. Like one guy, like okay, he but, but up okay. For like when you say stop, and... okay, okay. When you say stop talking to you, that's what I'm sticking to, not shifts. Yeah. Just, Were you yeah. dating these guys? No, I'm just having like a friendly conversation, you know. Trying all right, to get them and then to know and my... then the friendly conversation stopped with all of right. them. Uh, why just do you with Why do you them. think? Okay, but here's the thing. Why do you think that is? I have no idea. Make a reason. Well, what is it? First of all, 
You said you did nothing wrong and it's all on them. I'm going to tell you right now, talking to you has been somewhat difficult just to get you to get in flow with this, this program. Communication is a two way street. Mm -hmm. And if one, two, three men stop communication with you, the only common thing with all of those is you. You put yourself in a position as a victim. That's why I stopped you with all this global bias stuff. How old are you? I'm 25. 25. And the men you say that you were talking to were either at, at security guard or at the gym or something like that, right? Correct. What about men you meet outside of not not at your gym, just out and out and about. I mean, pretty much, uh, I spend a lot of my time at work, and I spend trying spend a lot of my time trying to focus on my health, like wherever my hobbies is. Gonna be towards okay. Where do you work? You know, I don't need to know specifically. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I work for FedEx as a. Oh, um, all right, all right. So you work with FedEx. Ahead. Yes. Twenty five years old. Yes. Uh. But if you're going to interact with people, you got to get out of the house. And you just tell me that what I'm hearing from you is a woman who needs improved communication skills with men in general. And that's why I stopped you, because it's easy for you ladies to start blaming everything else other than a person in the mirror. I asked you, what about ha what happens when you go out to meet guys in general? And you say, I don't. Well, that needs to be improved. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to work on that. Is you know, I don't know if like they have preferences or what. Like, because you know, as a woman, if you go up and meet a guy, you don't know what the heck they're gonna think of you. You know, if there's no sexual chemistry or whatever, that's the first thing you're judging. So you're trying to do everything you can to try to mold into what they think is fitting, like what you said earlier. They want girls that are softer back in the day. And then to the early 2000s, the early 90s, I was raised to be harder because the men were mistreating women who were oh, housewives. that's bullshit. They were not mistreating But men. see, that's the reality, sir. You got to allow people who actually walk the footsteps. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. No. The facts are the facts. That is more, that is more of that psychobabble bullshit. Black women are not being abused like that. And this is more of these black men are in jail, down low, or, or uh, unemployed stuff that's just not true. See, and you're 25. And I was raised with women who were mistreated as and, housewives. And, well, then, but him. the thing is, ma'am, that ain't you. Okay. You okay. were born in 19, what, 95? Correct. So, due respect, don't tell me about something that I lived through that you didn't. Well, it sounds to me like you were raised by around a bunch of hard women. True. Because you sound like a hard woman. Well, I mean. Well, and, well, I, and here's the know. thing. Listen to what I'm about to say, because this is going to be important. Pay attention. Breathe, because it's not personal. Okay. The world does not owe you, me, or anybody understanding. Your problems, my problems are my own. If you were raised around a bunch of hard women, just last night's show, I had a woman calling on talk about, I'm engaged now and I had to get out from around my negative, hard female family members because they were poisoning me. And you sound like you have a mind full of poison at 25 but when I ask you about your own personal experiences with men, they aren't there. You don't have any. You haven't told me about I went out on a date. You said I've talked to guys at the gym or this or that, and then they stopped talking to me. Well, there's a reason. But all of a sudden, the guys are bad. Therapy, ma'am. Because you cannot, yeah. you cannot change who raised you. But if you walk around thinking that 
people respond to relationships are reflective and people respond to what we put out and you have a deeper voice and a harder way of being. I mean, case in point, when you came onto the show, you didn't even say, Hey, how you doing, Kevin? You didn't even greet me. You just said, Hey, I got some shit I want to say. <laughs> I mean, I, th I thought you was going to give me a hot 16. I mean, shit. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I mean, I'm expecting a woman to come in and it's like, well, what's up, nigga? I just got some shit I need to get off my chest up in this bitch. Arf, arf. Right. Well, well that's right. what comes across. And that's not what men want, man. Right. So I, I'm not going to take away from traumas or things that may happen to other people, but it's your okay. life. Yes, and sir. 25. You don't need to be living uh, the women in your past, in your lives, uh, issues with men. Um, all right. Okay. Appreciate it, sis. Yes. Take care. Right. Yeah. I mean, ladies. See, a lot of women today are angry because you've been told to be angry. Let's go there. A lot of your mothers have told you men ain't shit. A lot of a lot of your mothers have told you, men ain't shit, beware. And then you coming out here and you're like, well, damn. I don't want to be like like the colleague yesterday. I don't want to be like my mother or my aunt or my cousin. I don't want to live my life by myself. But you were told men are bad and men to be feared. And you're going to have to do that work. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to actually learn who we are and what we want because we're not gonna change. We're not gonna change, and we're not gonna pick you just because you have a uh, uh, a nice body. Not for long. We'll have fun with you. We're not gonna. We damn sure ain't gonna keep you. And that's what another thing that gets you women so upset because you may be attractive, you may be fit or whatever, and you get a man like the woman with the communication degree, that woman who obviously had issues. I don't doubt that she probably can attract men, but the ability to keep a man, she does not possess it. That's why, you know, let me, let me give you some sign. Let me give you some things that run men away. I'm going to use the communications chick. <laughs> All that little stupid ass laughing that you were doing, ma'am. Slap yourself. You sound like a straight damn fool. We were listening to the broadcast and I've let women listen to it. And they were like, what is her problem? You sounded like a fool. <coughs> well, uh, 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 um, and all that, um, uh, that lip smacking. So over the top. But what she was doing that for is to purposely sabotage interactions with men. So she doesn't have to get close to anybody. Women like her blow stuff up. She all she is is an object. When I let her talk, what happened? She just talked like this. I'll I'll replay the conversation. It was just a stream of con. I'm just like wow. And the sad part is, 50, 60 years ago, that's a woman that could have been saved. And she walked around talking about I choose to be this way. I'm a PhD. I don't need a man. I'm a PhD. I'm like, well, damn. You you think you're the shit, huh? Yes. I'm a, I've got a degree in communications and, and that resonated with me. Resonated or resonated? You know, resonated. Yeah, I'm clowning you. Because it was sad, man. It really was. So I'm looking for this video. Yeah, it keeps trying to get me to auto join this shit. PhD, but she can't get no man. Hello, unmute yourself, please. Hello, you can't ha if you don't have anybody to enjoy it with. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Good. Your first name? Jafina. Uh, Jafina. What do you got for me? Chill Vito, I just joined it and I don't really know what the topic on. You don't know you what the topic you don't know what the topic is? Um, I know you were talking about um black women are angry. I think that's what I saw, but I didn't like How old are listen you? to 
26. So you, you know the topic is why are, why are women modern women so angry? And you don't have anything yeah. on the topic? Um, I, I do. I do. Okay. okay, so I would say one reason why I think most Black women are angry is because um, some of them have had bad experience with men, all right? And mm -hmm. some of them, it might be an issue of self-love. Um, okay. That's what I would think. Go ahead. Yeah, because, um, because it's like, for self-love, it's like when you don't like take a time for yourself to heal, to kind of like get to know you, you become angry. You take the issue from one person to the next. Like the issue from one relationship, you transfer it to the next relationship because it's like you didn't allow yourself time to kind of heal, to understand why that happened, to understand why you react the way you did or why they react the, the way they did. So, are you involved in, with anyone right now? Um, currently no. How, but I am how, talking to I am talking to um people going on dates, but not a specific person. And how old did you say you were again? Twenty six. Twenty six. All right. Um, you just called to get on the show and talk. Yeah. True. Yeah. So you just you basically just spent three two minutes just talking. Whew. Socially awkward women. Speak on that. Go ahead. I don't get it. Um, I think two big things is uh, I can't keep no dick. Yeah, what'd you say, Doc? Hold on. Where are those calls at from the other night? Hold on. Hold on. For years. Need to be right. Um, independent woman type. Uh -huh. I happen to be a child. That's not gonna work. So now you're faced with the very real prospect of being. What happened last night? If we don't get the lights up. The problem you're having in say, because there's a reason. Peacefully coexist. Oh well. Mean? I'll get to it later on. Lena. Unmute yourself, please. Um hello. You need to speak up, I can't hear you. All right. So last night, well she's still trying to well, she's still trying to figure this out. Lene, um, the, the, the communications check. Prototypical. Sassy. Um, you know, thought she was funny. Uh, but when I just allowed her to talk, it was really kind of sad because... When you just are used to looking good, looking, when you're used to being objectified, that's the extent of your development. And when that's all you got, that's all you got. Uh, Lene, you're not talking, so we're going to mute you. Uh, let me see if I can pull that out. Disagreement. I, I really don't have a disability. Oh, yeah, that was her. Hold on. Well, what does the kids have to do with it? No, man. No, I asked. Is the, I asked. Oh yeah, that would. Older well, women. No, I don't believe so. That okay, so nature does not even support what you're talking about. Oh, that was the old shit. She was mad. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. Aisha. Aisha. How do you pronounce your name? Aisha. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Why are women so angry today? Um, personally, I believe it is just unmet expectations set by the women before them, and they have, those expectations have been capitalized on 
by um, people in the like relationship guru market. Matthew Hussey, Matthew Hussey to be one of them. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We don't, we don't, hold on, hold on, no, no, we don't do that. Hold on. We don't, we don't call out content creators. I don't do that over here. You can make okay. some point without, without calling out. Sorry. Well, that's just, you know, you know, wouldn't go to a, a business and speak, but that's just poor form. So mm-hmm. what, what, you, what you're saying is that the expectations who were set by their, the previous generations and it's relationship gurus who are capitalizing on this. And the fashion industry, like mainly just general okay, industries that. How old are you? 24. Why do you ladies always seek to go to this huge global deep state conspiracy versus going to your own lived experience? Um, because generally it's a good place to start rather than... No, it's because you something. have no lived experience. I have a fair bit, but sure. Really? Okay, what's your longest... Re- how, are you in a relationship? I am currently, yes. How long is it? How long have you been in it? Um, This one's quite short so far because it's just started. It's about one year. But one my longest year. was five and a half years. At 24? Yes. <laughs> I, was, I wouldn't say it's necessarily good one because obviously it ended but well, well, well <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on what at what age did that start i believe my junior year of high school so like 17 so from 17 to 22 you're with somebody yes well, did you guys go to the same college yes why did uh, you he dropped out a few times what's that okay so Again, it would make more sense to talk about why those things fail than global conspiracies and fashion industries and everything else. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's what you lived. Mm-hmm. It's all theory. And you've been in a relationship for one year. Do you want to get married? Yes. How old is the guy you're seeing? 27. Does he want to marry you? Yes. Has he proposed to you yet? Not quite because we are Not in the middle quite. of a bunch of changes. Yeah, we wanted to be about a year and a half to two years. Not, we figured no, we no, 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 no. Listen to what I'm about to say. Mm-hmm. You ain't got shit to do with it. You just accept a decline. We ain't got nothing to do with it. Okay. You don't. Does he want to marry you? You said he does. I asked if he proposed. No, he said not. I said, why? Well, because we want to do something. He either proposes or he doesn't. Has he taken you ring shopping? No. No. Has he met your father? No. Yes. Has he asked your father for your hand for your hand in marriage? No. Has he met your mother? Yes. Have you met his mother and father? Yes. And what's the hold up? Uh, just we're planning on moving, making a big cross country move. So we figured get the house, get the everything no, set up before. No, 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 trying no, to... no. What are we doing? You ain't doing shit. If you went to K Jewelers and got a, a $99 wedding special, would you accept it? Yes. And what the fuck? And what are we talking about? <laughs> you see what I mean? Ladies, mm-hmm. remember I said how you sabotage relationships? You try to run them. You try to manage men and you do too much. And I brought all this into focus, man, because you came on here trying to talk about and do too much versus focusing on your lived life. Okay. If a man wants to marry you, ma'am, he makes it happen. I agree, but I believe that there are external factors that need to be taken care of before you just make a huge financial commitment. Such a, I'll entertain this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Such a, like as far as tying your lives together, I think. You should probably be financially stable. You are getting kicked off of your parents' health care and you Excuse basically me. have to take Excuse care me. of yourself. Excuse me. How how financially stable can you be at 24? 
you can't, which is why I'm not really trying to do it at 24. Exactly. Put your dick up. Can you elaborate on that? Put your dick up. In, in, in other words, trying to run stuff. You're young. You ain't got nothing. You're broke before or after you got married anyway. Insurance is not a reason to put off a marriage. If he's 27, you're 24, you take what you have and you move forward. See, what you young lady, want? you sound like the man. Hmm. In what way do you see that? First off, the way you even talk right now. Trying to give you a no, 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 to just talk. just your tonality, your tonality in this conversation. And when I asked you very simply, ma'am, does he want to marry you? You said he does. Well, this is Correct. how you know a man wants to marry you. He proceeds with an engagement. If he's met your parents, you've met his parents, you say he wants to marry you, you said you'd accept the $99 K jewelry special, then that means he should be on one knee yesterday. And you move on with life. Because all the things you're trying to prepare for, you cannot get everything perfect before a marriage happens. A relationship happens. You're broke anyway. I mean, fair point. But personally, I was raised to try to say financial stability is what do you do for a living? You should probably do. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Uh, currently, I am just working retail. But if you don't shut the, the oh my god, <laughs> what? Exactly. I said this yesterday. Fear of commitment. Prototypical, right here. You ain't financially stable, working retail. What does he do? He's in law. No, no. What does he do? Being in law means he could be a criminal or a Supreme Court judge. What does he do? Law innovations. Excuse me? Law innovations. Law innovations. Talk to the audience like we're four years old. Is he an attorney? No. Law is innovations. What does that mean? That, that's what I, okay. Law innovations basically means what he does is he takes the practice of law and basically if a, basically if a company wants to um, hire your law firm, it is his job to basically take all the paperwork that you fill out and make requests for, automate it, translate it, find like some sort of system, push it out. That's one of the main things that he does. Another thing that he does is he'll do all the serving of papers and like extra stuff. That's my baseline understanding of it. I don't do law. <laughs> right. Does he own his own business? No. Who does he work for? Perkins. Who? Coy. Perkins and Coy. It's a multinational law firm, one of the okay. biggest in the United States. And what does he make annually? 80K. In what state? Oregon. Sounds like plenty enough money to get married on. Because I guarantee he's making more than you with your retail. Oh, ass. yes, yes. So I what are you talking about? So what are you talking about? That I need to be at a relatively comparable or slightly lower level than him. Why? Because that's what we both decided was relatively fair. <clears throat> this man don't want to marry you. That's why you're making up all these reasons. You damn sure, because you're gonna be. Cause apparently, you're gonna be got a fifty-fifty marriage. You're gonna be working, right? Yes, I have. Right, right, right. You plan yeah. on having children? Potentially, yes. Right. Ooh wee. <laughs> Please avoid. No, 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 no. Don't get married. Please don't get married. There's a divorce waiting to happen. And and what see, makes you say that? Oh, well, well, because because I've lived a hell of a lot longer than you, and I've been able to diagnose what's going on with you in the first two minutes. You should shut okay. up and listen. You should be you should be quiet and listen, because you think you're smarter than you are, and you're really not. Twenty four years old, and you barely just learned how to piss straight, and you came in here talking about 
uh, other content creators in global fashion industries when you are a fucking retail rep with no money talking like you know something. I did study that. Sit your young ass down. You don't know nothing. And that's the problem with so many of you young college educated women. You think you got it all figured out and you're out here trying to make moves and decisions where you're not qualified for. And that's fine. But at least know what Apparently you don't know. Hell off my phone. <laughs> Why not do that? Woo! Mm. I need to be on at least the same financial level as him before he gets made. He's in law innovations, and you on drive, you on fries at the drive through. All right, well. Live for. So where's that? For. You know what? Maybe somebody put the timestamps down there. Young lady, you need to get, you guys need to get premarital counseling. Premarital counseling uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, oh, it was on a previous call. Thank you to the people who put the timestamps in the video. Young lady, Um, really, 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 there's a lot going on with you. Um, Go ahead and drop the link down in there. Lene, let's see if you can get unmuted right now. Go ahead. Lene? Lene? She's not up. Unmute yourself, Lene. Um, you guys, when you say you called from last night, I don't necessarily know, remember who you are. So, so let's do this one while we wait on Lene. Okay. Uh, so I watched a few of your videos, a co-worker told me about you. Okay. And, I'm, and I'm kind of agreeing with Monique on some things. Um, when you talk about the weight and the body type of women. Um, so I did a little research. Um looking at BMIs and things like that. And I noticed you weren't factoring body fat percentage and things like that. Ma'am, um, let's 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 be let's let's be honest, ma'am. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a broadcast. I don't have to get that that gun specific. Generalities are just fine. Mm-hmm. Well for me, I asked because <laughs> you told me that I was overweight, which according to BMI <clears throat> Who are you? How tall are you first of all? How tall are you? See, that really bothered her. That really bothered her when I told her she was overweight, and you are. Five foot five and 165 pounds is overweight for a female. I don't care what your body fat percentage is or whatever, whatever. But this is the woman who claimed to have a degree in communications and all these other things. But all she could ever really talk about is how hot she was and how fine she was and how many dudes just trying to get at her but yet she don't want none of them her entire existence seems to be predicated on i look like this and you can't have it and i'm and why don't just sit here and let her talk this is how you deal with women like this just let them tell on themselves how do you fat percentage how tall okay Jesus, you ladies act like you can't hear. How tall are you? I'm sorry. I was just in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> well, guess what, ma'am? This is the show. Okay, I know. Remember, remember I said all that stupid ass laughing? <laughs> the silly laughter. The lip smacking. The sassy attitude. Who? This, this is Matt... I understand why women like this are angry because they cannot 
cannot sit in the room with men like the of any kind of character or, or, or anything and and be around longer than the orgasm. Who wants to put up with this? And she thinks she's the shit. And I'm like, ma'am, you're annoying AF. You are your communications chick. It is. How look, rude. Look, look, lady, you got problems. Because you're not gonna we're not gonna do what happened yesterday. So either you're gonna get on board with the way this is, or I'm gonna bid you a good night. Because apparently you don't like to, you think you are somebody that I need to contend with and I don't. You either have a, a civil conversation or go elsewhere. Those are your only options. I'm very civil, but I'm open to either. And communicate, that was my first degree. I got a degree in master's in professional development. Um, yeah, um, I kind of looked and I realized that you were fatter than me because my body fat per percentage is pretty low. Um, and I work out six times a week, things like that. And I, you know, the guys I prefer are pretty fit as well. So a good 220, but I wouldn't consider them overweight. What you just witnessed is a woman who is so used to being a sassy, smart ass, loud mouth, argumentative, conflict, chaos monster. What women don't know how to do or deal with is Akita Khan. They don't know how to deal with people who can dissolve their energy. I just went quiet and let her go. And she was not comfortable with uncomfortable silences. She needs the conflict. And you could hear it in her voice. Well, I wasn't talking to her. You want to hear that again? Hold on. A civil Listen conversation. To, just watch. Elsewhere. Watch what happens. Those are your only options. I'm very civil, listen. but I'm open to either. Here we go. And communicate. That was my first degree. I got a degree in. She couldn't even wait for 30 seconds. Roughly 10 seconds before she had to open her mouth. Hmm. <laughs> Masters in professional development. But, um, yeah, um, Two I kind of looked and I realized that you were fatter than me because my body fat per percentage is pretty low. Um, and I work out six times a week, things like that. And I, you know, the guys I prefer are pretty fit as well. So a good 220, but I wouldn't consider them overweight. You done? I am. Good, because you didn't answer. She was so excited that I started speaking. She's like, oh, he's going to argue with me now. And I'm just like, I don't need to say anything. Miss Communications, da, 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 da. Well, I noticed that you're not, you're not better than me. And you're fat. Yeah, I'm fat. You know, you're fatter than me and this and that. It really bothered her. The sign, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right is at the foundation of the pathology of far too many black women. She called back after doing research just to prove the point that she was okay. And, she, and what you didn't hear is when this call started, she's like, I'm the girl from other night. And I'm like, shit, I went to sleep. I don't know who we are. The first question I asked, you just talked. Mm -hmm. Show me where you, can, where the world operates according to your standard. So that's what I was wanted to ask you about, but it's like you're asking questions that has nothing to do with my question because I just wanted to understand your viewpoint. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, ma'am. Again, mm -hmm. 
I let you talk. And I asked you one question and you just blew right on past it. Communications degree holder. Why is it so hard for you to answer a question? I don't know why, because you have no respect for what's going on. You're just here to talk. Because you're not answering my question. My high has no... This is a 30-year-old woman who cannot hold a who cannot keep a relationship. And thinks because she has chosen to not be in a relationship that that means she can keep one. This is why so many women are angry because they walk around thinking like her. You women often talk about narcissism right here. The self-entitled delusional nature that you actually think someone owes you something. That the entire show was supposed to stop. When I'm supposed to jump and answer your question, I'm not in. She kept trying. And in the previous show, she kept trying to get me to go look her up on IG. I don't care about who you are. I'm around beautiful women all the time. It requires more than beauty. And that's the thing. With men at a certain caliber, women when like her, when all they bring to the table is looks. They've got nothing and it makes them feel some kind of way. And, and instead of just getting better, this is when the lashing out starts. It's going to do with my question that I'm I didn't ask. Them. See, the thing is, I again, how tall are you? Five, five. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 165. Last night you were 175. Yep, and I weighed myself this morning because I've been on a diet. And like I said, I work out six days a week. I also fast twice a week. So I'm. So how many people believe that you can lose 10 pounds and not know it? I don't know why you said we angry, uh, Monica, but I pinned it. How many ladies can be five foot five and lose 10 pounds and not know it? Hmm? How many could lose 10 pounds? Very health conscious. Congratulations, so ma'am. Yeah. Congratulations. And still, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how many days a week you work out or what's specific mm -hmm. to you. I'm a family doc in Atlanta. BMI is not dependent on body fat percentage or muscle composition, regardless of how good you look with extra weight. <clears throat> Here we go. Or where the fat lands. BMI 30 or greater is obese. Use the BMI calculator. Thank you, medical professional, beautiful black woman. With the hella super chat again. I am going to keep this one. We are going to lock and save this one. I'm a, I am a family me doc in Atlanta. BMI is not dependent on body fat percentage or muscle composition, regardless of how good you look or where the extra weight or fat lands. BMI 30 or greater is obese. Period. Use the BMI calculator. That's a black woman. Dark-skinned black woman, medical doctor right here, and she put her money where her mouth was. Right there. Right there. That's her. I argue with her. A, a, a weight standard is just that, a standard. You cannot have something that fits 7 billion people. Mm-hmm. You're a college graduate. You're supposed to understand these things. I don't think you're understanding my question. So can I ask you another question to clarify? You haven't asked me any questions, really. You just I told me why to I'm me. wrong and I could care and why because because the guys you like are taller and this and that. That's your preference. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But it still doesn't so, change the fact that it still doesn't change the fact mm -hmm. that you at your height, you weigh more than the average man. Mm-hmm. And so for let me tell you why I'm doing this. 
the whole notion of women being angry, black women in particular, because this is the default setting for relationships in America, black America. All many black women, black women like her understand is how to be angry and argue. Argument is for anger and argument is foreplay. Listen to what I'm about to say. Obsidian often says that hate screwing is the default setting, the default mate setting in black America. And he's got a point because these women get excited, turned on with all the smoke, with all the anger. And that's crazy. I, my ex was like this. She used to love to argue. And after that, she would be so turned on. And I'm like, what? And when I really started to clue in to what she was doing, I was like, oh my, it was just, no. And when all, the lack of maturity, this is some high school juvenile shit. Me, I'm uh -huh. just like, uh -huh. I'm curious. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. At you your know, height, question. at your height, you weigh uh -huh. more than a man at your height. Hey, guys, keep Understand. the profanity okay. out of um, That's fine. the chat uh, room. My question is, why do women and all that um, kind of stuff go to Dr. Dinged. Miami and to get BBLs to look like me? I don't have an owl. Uh-huh. So instead of just listening, she said, yeah, yeah, but see, I look good. And why do people come to Dr. Miami to look like me? Of cellulite or stretch marks. That's why I don't really want again, ma'am. Again, you're asking, ma'am. What good is looking like this if you can't keep a man? If you can't keep a relationship? If you were just good to look at and have sex with? She mentioned Bernice Burgos, who started having babies at 15. Who somebody says she's a grandma by now. But again, the standard is so low that this woman who has degrees in communication and all that kind of stuff, this is the height of her development. Looking as though she doesn't have any cellulite or an ounce of fat. That's it. That's all you want to be, man, is a sex object? A lip-smacking, sassy sex object? If white people would have put Black women on primetime TV like this, black women would have a fit saying that they're stereotyping us and making a caricature. Yet you you came back to play this role for two nights in a row. Proudly. You're asking you're asking me you're asking me, asking so me why wondering. okay, stop. You want to answer to the question? <laughs> mm-hmm. How can I know why they do how can I know why somebody that goes to Dr. Miami does what they do? But we're talking about you. No, you, about I, you asked me. You asked, you asked me a question. Why do women go to Dr. Miami to get bodies to look like you? I can't know why they do that. But I will tell you that a 25 inch waist. And I actually had uh, people from the medical profession call in talking about women who do. Do you happen to use a waist trainer? I actually just started using one. College graduate with multiple degrees. Can't keep a man, but she's still trying to a waist trainer. And any medical professional would tell you those things are unhealthy. Well, she wants a smaller waist. So when I said something was going on with her, it wasn't being pejorative. Little Kim, you can't become obsessed with trying to look. I mean, you just Google women who try to get the perfect shape and this crazy hourglass huge hip, I don't like a uh, little waist and huge ass hips that that shit is a turn off to me I that and there are guys who like to look at it but they don't know about but people don't marry that I mean we're talking about exaggerated proportions on Instagram it's like Jesus Uh -huh. last week because I'm going to go right. to 24. Right. So you have a 25 inch waist naturally. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
at 170 pound and 175 pounds all right so again you have again you're the same person that talked about the kind of man you like to date the kind of man you like to date all this thing about how hot you are but then in another breath you said you ain't dated it had a, a relationship in eight years which one is true both okay um Okay, well then, if you're so, if you're in such high de okay if you're in such high demand, mm -hmm. why does it matter what a guy on YouTube has to say? Boom. Um, like I said, my coworker told me about you, and we literally like I enjoy your show. I don't agree with most of the things you say, especially about um women. No, it matters because you know that I'm right. And it's not about being right. It's you know what you're talking about is wrong. And you say, so a lot of women watch my show and and whether they like to admit it or not, they agree with the majority of it because it's the truth. But unfortunately, this is where, and this is about relationships, learning how to act, conflict resolution. This is a pointless argument that we had. She and I had, that she was having with me it was pointless. But it meant something to her. And see, ladies, you guys do this in relationships with men and you wonder why you can't keep a man. Learn what's important. Instead of trying to be right all the damn time. And, and value them now um, with my Christian beliefs. I think we're all in some ways equal. However, me and my co-worker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, now you've crossed. Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. you, you've crossed into some dangerous territory. I'm going to allow you to back <laughs> that one up. Because. Okay. You want to bring Christianity into it? I was I baptized at five. And you can, no, 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 no. See, God doesn't play these subjective games you want to play. Mm -hmm. So as far as Christianity, Christianity, all right. If you guys want to see the rest of that, check it out on the, on, on the show Disagreement Day. All right, let me, let me explain something. Ladies, and lady, if you're still listening, understand something. Stop fighting. Ladies, learn how to stop fighting. To stop fighting. That's the key to successful interpersonal relationships. Stop fighting. What are you fighting for? Because I asked her, you know, you don't want to be in a relationship. What's going to happen? You know, you're so worried about this body you have. What's going to happen? You turn 50 and gravity happens. She said, that ain't going to happen. That's when I hung up on her. I was like, all right, you just fight. You just talking. Hello? All right, Lene, I can't hear you. And the thing is, Sadly, so many women who in times past and in years gone by, women of the of the family would have told her, girl, if you don't be quiet, but no one says anything to where women like her honestly think that arguing and fighting and tension is just good old fun. I mean, when you talk about people talking about opening argument bars, yeah. So shout out to the doc. Monica, what are you talking about? I pinned this whole comment that says we're angry. I don't know what you were saying. Uh, let's see what happened. Doc came through here. And here's the thing. I don't want to just be sitting around clowning. I would like to see you ladies start to have better outcomes. Have better outcomes because the women start having better outcomes. Guess what? You're going to start having better outcomes than men. Lord have mercy. All right, guys, do me a favor. Okay, in the comment section, understand something. What I need from you, from men, um, guys, in the comment section, keep the locker room conversation out of that, man. It's going to get deleted, okay? Even if you don't type the words, YouTube is doing something. Uh, and, and here's the thing. I don't want it near either. I know you guys can make a joke without having to go to the 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 vulgar word so just do that all right um naturally you're in here and lene you're in here um shout out to uh hey, what's up doc what's going on doc um uh, let me see and yeah, we're gonna have to keep her up there make sure we got ike up there theo let me see we got theo's song queued up too i need somebody to um we need Theo's song to be made into something. Hold on. Which one was it? That wasn't it. That wasn't Theo's song. Hold on. Do, 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 do
do, 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 do. Oh, man, what a day. Tomorrow is Suit Saturday. Then after Suit Saturday, we head out to the world. Where is Ike's song? There it is. Leo. The official Theo theme. I got it late yesterday, so we got it. Late. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm feeling generous. So here's what I'm going to do. I will stay up and I will take phone calls from anybody. From men, from women. I will do ratings for women. I will take calls from guys. Um... And I will go to one o'clock. Okay. You guys want to do that? Um, here's the only thing I will ask. The only thing I'm going to ask for you guys is this. We look at the likes. We need to get likes over 2,500. Uh, and then we're going to take more calls. Likes over 2,500. And it'll be good if we had uh, five more people dropping five bucks. I'm going to go ahead and play an intermission song. And then we'll come back because, you know... I I, I'm feeling feeling kind of friendly. Uh, you ain't old enough to remember, but back in the day, the peanuts used to say the doctor's in. Doctor's in.
All right, we are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. Main camera. Here we go. All right. So, uh, before we get started, I wanted to say a couple things. Number one, number two, I love Killian fragrances. Two new Killian fragrances, Angel Share and Roses on Ice. Gentlemen, check these out. Ladies, you'll love this one. Guys, I like this one, but I love this one. Roses on Ice and Angel Share. And the bottles even look dope. And uh, I have been wearing the hell out of this one right here. Magnetic Blend, number seven. Straight up musk fragrance. It's one of the sexiest musk fragrances that I own. Man, women will begin to ovulate in your presence wearing this. Wear, wear a caution, gentlemen. You don't want to be a baby daddy too many more times. And then, of course, Oud for greatness. Woo, that, that spray that out right there. What are you talking about? Bam! All right, so here's where we go. We got it all coming in. Everybody's on the way in. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, here we go. Who is this first? Somebody. Alexis. Not at, no. Let's do this. We'll stop muting everybody. All right, none of your audios are connected for some strange reason. Uh-uh. All right, here we go. Um, Ecamm Live. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you all back into the waiting room. And when you come back in, make sure you, when you come back in, make sure you connect your audio. Because some reason it's not letting you connect. I'm going to do it one at a time. For some reason. All right, so we're going to start. Who was that first? Alexis, you're not knocked off for some reason. Okay, here's knock knock jokes. Stop, okay. stop, here's Alex, knock, stop, knock Alexa. Knock, knock. Everybody's on the way in. Alexa, stop. Stop. I'm so sad you don't want to hear the rest of the joke. You dummy. Unmute yourself. Hello. Okay, you're gonna have to turn YouTube off in the background. Hi. For everybody in the waiting room, you're going to have to turn YouTube off in the background. All right, none of your audio. Is okay, up you're now. you're still on in the background. Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. First name. Brianna. What do you got for me? I wanted to get rated and see what your rate would be. Uh oh. <laughs> you sure about that? Uh yeah. Yeah. I've been watching How your show for a while. You? Um How five four. Dress size. Six. How old are you? Twenty four. Where would you rank yourself on a scale of one to ten? You cannot use seven, just your face. Um, I would say Six, pretty average. Six is above average. It's cute. Okay. Let's see. I, I would say I'm cute. Yeah, I would give you a six. Um, do you ever wear uh, makeup? I do from time to time, special occasions, mostly. Uh, you should start wearing makeup. Accentuate. You need to do something okay. with your eyes. Your eyes and your eyebrows, okay. uh, and then sell your lips. Okay. Yeah. Light makeup, not every day, but something that you can use to accentuate your eyes, things like that. I will flash on the screen real quick. But yeah, six. Cute. Uh, there you go. Uh, I want to see something done here, though. I want, to see, I want something with your eyebrows and things like that. All right. Okay. And what's right. your perspective on natural hair? Uh, natural's better. 
We don't want. We don't want. We don't want weave. Extensions mm-hmm. are fine from time to time, but natural is always best. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye bye. All righty then. Uh, why is this so? Oh, let me do this. For some reason, it's not a lie. So no one can unmute themselves. But everybody's in the. So everybody comes in at one time. Bring. Mm. <laughs> Chubby world. Hmm. All right. None of you guys, are, you need to connect your audio, folks. All righty. So, Megan. Um, Megan Newberry connected audio. Megan. You got the uh, virtual background going there. What's going oh, on? Oh, yes. The tropical scenes. So. All right, what's going on? What do you got for so, me? Um, so I guess the question to answer it um, tonight was, why are women angry? And honestly, thank you so much for having me on your show. I've been a fan. My guy friend actually put me on to you about a week ago. So Ooh. I've really just soaked it up. And I, I feel like a changed woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm like, you really have changed my life. So thank you. So it's all about perspective and growth for me. So I would say the reason why maybe women are angry is due to the fact that they feel like they're not getting their needs met. But I think that, you know, closed mouths don't get fed either. So you can't assume guys to want to take care of your every need or every want. Mm-hmm. If you don't speak up and voice it to you, you know what I mean? Voice it to them. Now, did you say the person that turned you onto my channel, is this somebody you're, you're seeing? So the story with him was he is in my eyes, like a high value man. And we had talked briefly, but I kind of, to be honest, um, at that point in time in my life, I was being a little bit impatient and impatient? kind of stopped. Yeah, I was being impatient. So, um, and so we stopped talking on that level, but we're still great friends. Like we still talk and I don't know if there may be something that we're How long possible. ago was, how long ago you wanted to move faster than he did? Yes. How old is he? He is 40. And you are how old? I am 34. I just turned 34. And how long um, ago, was, how long ago were you, did you get impatient with? This was about three years ago. Well, I, 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 would guarantee, I would almost guarantee you he wasn't trying to move because he wasn't ready yet. He could not. <laughs> men really finally come into our own at 40. And especially for things that, honestly, that black men know the black women want, it would be better to slow the roll than try to take it on early. Um, three years can make a lot of difference, especially financially. Sure can. Yeah. So he told you, so he told you about my program. Yes. And we say, we literally, we're talking, we're texting right now. Like yeah, we talk yeah, and we like still, watch your shows yeah, together and we talk about it. He still that? likes you though. He still likes you. Oh yeah. I know. We still like each other. I mean, we sit there. Well, we that's the point. Men don't tell women about the show that they don't like. They just like, maybe you can hear it from, maybe he, you can go watch Kevin and you can get some shit straight so we can go ahead and get this thing done. That's pretty much what right. I Right. I'm going to be like, Kevin, call, call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm actually, now you mentioned that this is kind of something I'm going to start doing next week. Um, I think I may stick my foot into mat, not matchmaker, um, cause there are people who are matchmakers and I don't want to be a matchmaker, but, um, there's something to be said for what's going on with men and women watching this show and kind of, kind of finding each other. But if y'all, if he's told you about this show, uh, send me an invitation. All right. All right now, okay. Bye. Yeah, I'm not listening right now. So you hear you first. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, men don't men don't turn women on to this show who ain't trying to get some something said or something accomplished. Cause this message is not really easy to hear from just hello, Lene. 
Hey, Kevin. Well, about time you were able to get on, right? <laughs> I made it. <laughs> what you got for me? Oh, well, I was going to call in and speak about why women were so angry, but I think we moved on to something else at this Well, no, point, no, no, right? no. You can still speak on it. You can still speak on it. Just briefly, um, we were sold a dream, you know, from birth. And so once we get up in age and get to the dating age and, and those expectations are met, I think it's more, for me, it's more frustration and not anger. But okay. then also my maturity has made me realize that um, I have to be accountable. So I saw the red flags and went ahead and went through with it. Mm -hmm. And so some of those relationships probably wouldn't even have happened or, you know, those traumas or whatever you want to call them might not have happened had right. I just uh, saw the red flags, acknowledged them and then, you know, gone on a different way. So what dream, what dream were, what dream were you or were women sold? Oh, from the Disney movies, from the uh, the whole Prince Charming, that whole thing, um, that it'll just be so easy to find your Prince Charming. You may have to kiss a oh. few frogs, but you know, eventually. And then, then you realize that there's a lot, there's a lot of other things that go into it, like maturity, some other mm. things that you've mentioned. So, and for me, I make more money than the guys in my area, so that's another issue okay. as well. What area are you in? I'm from Oklahoma, Kevin. Oh my God, you certainly probably do. Oklahoma oh. City, yes, sir. It, it's time to leave. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. I, hey, it's time to go. I left. Ain't nobody there. I know that, but you know there aren't there. There are other guys in other states that are not as good as well. So, <laughs> well, this is why women. This, honestly, this is where matchmakers come into play. Like in my mixed group, I say there are already four couples that met. None of them in the same city. Because I agree. matchmakers are, especially if you have, look, you're going to spend the money on something. Might as well spend it, try to try to find a husband. But here's the thing. I think you said something that's important. Frustration. When expectations don't mesh with reality, frustration sets in. Yeah. And I think what women in general, black women in particular, were told that you could have it all, that you could be strong independent college degree professional this and then you could still be claire huxtable because cliff is just <laughs> out there waiting for you and right that just ain't true uh, especially for my area yeah yeah i'm from oklahoma so i get it but the funny thing is but then i can also say on the other side when i was a young cliff the young claire's weren't ready to be Claire. They were still trying to have hot girl summer and keep their options open. <laughs> so when Cliff went ahead and got with, you know, somebody else, they sit up there. I thought you'd always be around. Yeah, get out. Use a matchmaker. Get out of Oklahoma. Yeah, I, was I agree. I, but, you know, living in Oklahoma and we're so um, we're kind of behind. So matchmaking and all that thing is kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that yet. But well, the, don't yeah. use a matchmaker in Oklahoma. Um, don't use a matchmaker in Oklahoma. There are matchmakers that work with people um, uh, countrywide. You have to start thinking outside the box. I agree. Okay, All well, right. since I'm here, go ahead and rank my, my photo that you see. Can you see it? I can't see your photo. Okay. All right. Thank but, you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Join Bye. my mixed group. Maybe that'll work. Maybe. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, Ari, what do you got for me? Hi. Hi, Ari. Um, well, first I wanted to say thank you. You're um, welcome. <laughs> I actually got turned on to this show maybe a few weeks ago. My husband actually started watching you guys. Like, uh, I don't know. I, at first I wasn't sure what he was trying to get out of it because you know, I'm thinking, <laughs> okay, We've been married 11 years. Like, are you trying to tell me something? And, you right. know, so I, I actually was in my feelings about the whole thing. And so I said, well, you know what? There's a reason why he's looking at it. Let me see. Maybe there's something I can learn from it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that I actually, even after all these years, had certain traits, like some of the women that you talk about on here. You know, I, I had fears, you know, mm -hmm. um, I've been on my own for quite a while. I'm 32 years old, been out since I was 16, um, mm. you know, been homeless, abusive relationship, things like that. 
And I didn't realize that I was still harboring a lot of that in this relationship. So it kind of gave me a bit more of a somewhat of a masculine kind of role because there were certain things I didn't want him to do for me. You know, I didn't always tell him how much he meant to me, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. I was just afraid to let go of that control, as, as you say. Mm -hmm. um, so as, as like, since I started watching this show, I've actually kind of started to take on more of a feminine role in our relationship. Okay. Um, you know, kind of letting him know, yes, I appreciate you. You know, I love that you take care of our family and things like and that. How has he responded? Very, very well. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> right. I, mean, I, I, I can't emphasize. Uh -huh. I mean, See, he's probably, ladies, what you need yeah. to hear is married woman real, heard something that she hadn't heard before. And she gave her husband his love language. And you can hear that she got m much more back. That's why you're feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. You inspire men <laughs> in a way that only mother, I mean, fathers and, and women can inspire men in ways uh, that only deities can. So I'm glad you, I'm glad you were able to hear that. That's good. Oh, That's yeah. Good. That's Good. why I'm, I'm when he's probably listening to me in the next room, like, I can't believe you called him, but okay. I just had to because, you know, I didn't have a lot of female figures. You know, my mother, she actually um, had mental illness, so she mm -hmm. wasn't able to be that figure. And pretty much everybody else was all the types that you talk about, you know, right. the I really don't need a man for this. Stand on your own two feet. Even my grandfather was ma mainly raised by my grandfather. And it was the same thing because he was so up in age. He taught me to be more independent. Right. Because, you know, I don't. You had to survive the world. To, exactly. You know, I joined the military at 17. So I had mm -hmm. to know how to be mm -hmm. in a role along with other men to be taken seriously, you know. Um, so that was just something that I got used to. And so now that I'm older, you know, I have a child. I'm you know, getting established into career, but I'm finding that balance where, no, my husband takes care of our family. I have my things, but my husband takes care of our family right. and I'm able to just be that helper for him and to let him know that I appreciate him. So, well, I'm glad that, um, you actually gave it a chance because I know that, uh, this is jarring for a lot of women to hear. And that just really shows us how far our culture has gone down the path of kind of masking what men or black men want. Um, so I've even had to kind of take that into consideration. I was like, well, damn, this is, this is, this is probably a little bit harder to hear. So that's why so many women are on the show because sometimes it's easier for women to hear some of this stuff come from women because it's ultimately to help men get what they want by helping women become the women that they were always intended to be. So I'm glad everything's working out for you folks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate All it. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. So when guys bye -bye. get back and talk about this is no longer a man's channel, uh, the men that I am concerned with have always wanted women. If by saying this is no longer a man's channel, if, if you just want to be a man, a, a, a bachelor for the rest of your life, unmarried, no, de not dealing with women. This has never been that. Um, my clients as an image consultant are men who are white collar or blue collar. They have lives and in part of that, there was relationship, whether it's marriage or whether it's just being a jet set playboy, either or you still have to interact with women. So, uh, Miss Allen, you're next. Yeah, it gets it. It goes in priority of whose video is on. So if your video is on, you'll get pushed to the top. Miss Allen, how are you? Hi, Kevin. I'm fine. How are you? Good. What do you got for me? Um, I would like to know if I can have a reading oh, okay. if you're still waiting. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? I'm 24. 24. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Five, five. What uh, what's your dress size? 4. 
Whoa. Are you wearing braces? Yes. All right. <laughs> Uh, is, um, is that your hair or you have extensions? What? It's my hair and with okay. extensions. Extension. Yes. Okay. If you had to rank yourself, uh, scale to zero to 10, you can't use seven. What would you rank yourself? Just your face. Um, Just... I would say maybe six. Uh, a little higher. I'll actually give you an adjustable six. Uh, okay. Adjustable six means that you, you just go because you look like you're bare faced right now, uh, and so that means every day you walk out of the house you're always cute. But if you just decided to, especially when the braces are off and all this other kind of stuff, if you decide to, you could turn up the dial to be pretty as as any day or all day, which is a good place to be in because, um, especially with having hair that you can put the extensions in or out. Um, you can really choose what you want. I personally believe women should be as pretty as possible. So if you're an adjustable six, I would dial it up to eight all the time. Because right. cause if a man could be, uh, a man wouldn't turn his volume down. A man would turn his volume up. So you women should be as, as pretty as possible all the time. So uh, stay in the gym, stay working out, keep the stomach flat, keep a smile on your face. Smile, get smiles, walk down aisles. You're right. All Thank right you. Then. Bye. Smiles, walk down aisles. Miss Young. Hey, I spoke to you in New York, didn't I? And you need to unmute yourself. I talked to you in no. New York. I talked to you last week. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Um, <laughs> a rating. I would like you to go ahead and rate me. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, so how tall are you? Five five. Five five. Uh dress mm -hmm. size. Six, eight, depending on the cut. Okay. Uh and what would you give yourself? Zero to ten, mm -hmm. you cannot use seven. Just face alone. Fresh face, right out of the shower. An adjustable six. Uh <laughs> maybe a no. No. Uh, okay. No, no. Actually, would I would actually give you. Uh, and how old are you? Thirty-eight. Yeah, I would still give you an eight. Yeah. <laughs> I would still give you an eight. Mhm. Mm okay. I, I would still give you an eight. Um. Yeah. Yeah. And for so okay. for people who understand what I'm talking about, I'm going to flash this real quick. Deep. You? Yes, still give you an eight. Um, yeah, I thought you were gonna shoot it down, so I just stayed really below there. No, no, I, I, no, no, no. When I don't, I don't. When I do this, I, I, I got to stand on my reputation. So I, I give right. it, what, I give what it is. I don't. I have no reason to knock things down or up. No, you're, you're a solid eight. Um, so yeah, okay. stay there. Um, yeah. Why would people think I'm gonna knock it down? <laughs> Not mean. <laughs> no, you're not mean. I just, you know how sometimes we rate ourselves and we, you know, mm -hmm. look at it. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm this, and then it's like, no, not really from a man's perspective. No, no, I, I pretty dead on. And the funny thing is, more women are, that are calling in are starting to get more in the range because Tia, when I first started doing this, oh my God, mm -hmm. women were calling themselves tens and nines, and yeah, I look like Beyonce or Kelly Rowland or Halle Berry, and I'm like. Oh, are you are we using the same kind of camera um <laughs> so you know yeah and i and i try to keep my i keep my preferences out of it uh mm -hmm. because it's not fair my preferences are the, mine i try to give a global rating based upon as scientific a method as possible as scientific a method as possible for image which that's damn right. impossible, but there's a mathematical thing I go through. All right, then. Appreciate it. Okay. Hey, right. one more thing. Go ahead. Um, I'm pending in the mix for a while. Let me see. Okay. All right, I'll check it today. Is it under is it under your name right here? It's under my government. Okay, good. Okay, good. I'll check. I'll drop it. Okay. No, no, no. Send me an email. Send me an e email. Okay. All right. No send problem. me an email. Or, yeah, don't put it here. Send me an email. All right. Thanks. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't say your government here. No, no, no. We don't do that. Uh, yeah. 
Now she's not an adjustable six. No, no, that's a, that's a, that's a, an attractive woman. Um, and she's thirty eight too. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, well, what do y'all guys? Some of y'all guys are. Jesus, y'all should not be image consultants. Y'all are harsh. Uh, oh, well, we don't have, I'm sorry. Not just, hold on. Hold on, Michelle, just a second. Let me do this one. I can't pronounce your name. Cho. Chudo. Chudo. How are you? What do you got for me? Um, I just wanted a rating. I'm a little under the weather as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. how old are you? I am 29. Uh, oh, oh, okay. What happened to you, though? Hello? Chudo, what happened? Okay, well, uh, call back. Um, hmm. Nice little chocolate sister, too. Nice full lips. All right, uh, I think this is a guy. Um... Hello, hey. How you doing, Mr. Samuel? I'm good. What do you got for me? Uh, I just wanted to say that I, I agree with uh, everything that this speaker on this track. Actually, I'm, I'm in law school, by the way. Okay. Uh, and in law school, we have, of course, I'm the only black guy, but it's a lot of black women. Mm -hmm. And a year ago, before I started watching your channel, I just became I just became a watcher of your channel like three months ago. Okay. my school so and, again, you, borg, uh, you borged out you said you watched my channel three months ago and then you went say again uh i started watching your channel three months ago right okay um but before i started watching your channel a year ago like maybe about a year ago while i was in law school i was a second year law student i used to have a talk with a lot of these single black women who were mm -hmm. of course going to be lawyers and they had this masculine energy, just like you said. I'm a PhD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a lot of, and I, I started to, uh, you know, I'm still in law school, and I put, I told them to watch your channel. Mm. And at first, for them, it was hard. You know, it was hard for them to, to hear a lot of things they said. But after a while, some of them even subscribed, and they were they were shocked. Mm -hmm. You know, at that this is how men felt. And I feel the reason why women are single is because society has failed to tell them the truth mm -hmm. yeah and see the sad thing is especially for our, our women in in medical school and law school you know it's sad to see how many of those women are chronically single because society refuses to tell them the truth and yeah they, they can't comprehend wait a minute i'm not just a uh, uh, bachelors I went to medical school or law school you know living with me financially would be easier and they don't really get it and that's sad because I don't want to I don't because Oprah and all those folks told them you can have it all and you can't you have to get enrolled with and lie with a man so tell me some of the com so when you first start telling women to watch this how many of them unfriended you or cussed you out <laughs> well, see, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be honest with you. At first, in the beginning, I, I didn't. I didn't start watching your show until three months ago. But you know, my second year law school, we used to always get into these debates, these gender war debates, mm -hmm. and how men feel. And we would, and of course, you know, they're women and they're students of law, so you know how that is. You know, with the attitude and the pushback. But I feel like you, when they were able to watch your channel and hearing it from somebody else that was an image consultant. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess your points were more valid to them. Like, let me give you an example. She's probably watching the show, but I'm not going to say her name because she subscribed. Um, she said she can't date a man that she makes more money than. Now, as an attorney, you understand that you're going to make a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, so what if you're making 130K, he's making 120K? She said, mm -mm, couldn't do it. So I said, okay, so what if you're making 250K and you're making 200K? She said, mm -mm, couldn't do it. I said, what if you're making a million and he's making half a million? Mm -mm, I couldn't do it. I said, see, this is the problem. And I mm. said, this is what you were talking about, about women that they feel so entitled once they get this PhD, this doctorate, you know, they they start to raise their standards and they start to become more difficult and hard-headed, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, 
And most of these women, to be honest with you, they're not nines or tens. They're six exactly. Seven. Well, this is why my colleagues, you know, have ceased to match make for a lot of professional women. See, what I would have asked that the woman who kept saying she couldn't date a man who was making less than her, I'd ask her, all right, ma'am, uh, what kind of man should you get based on your looks? Equate your looks to an annual income and watch what they say. Yeah, I, I wasn't that mean. To, to well, but see, the thing that. is, and, see, and here's the funny thing. This it's the reason I put it that way is because they understand to do the calculation because they, they gave a man a rating based upon their financial tax bracket. But men, we pick women, you know, there's a reason why a woman could be an attorney and make a lot of money and she still can't deal with, and she can't date a man who's her colleague because he's picking women based upon their looks. That's why I think it's it's good for a lot of women to really give themselves a rating because when you or I try to say it, they're going to fight it. They're going to fight it because it's it's harsh to hear. Um, and at the end of the day, it, it, it's better if people can start being more honest, men and women, because then you can start making making deals. Western romance, love marriages are stupid, in my opinion. And I am happy that the cough, cough virus has happened because people are going to start making these damn deals. But well, I appreciate it, man. Uh, good luck with yeah. law school, man. Stay, stay focused and become that attorney. Later. Um, thank you. All right. Yeah, um, ladies. Uh, for basically, how can I put it this? Take, take wherever you rank on the scale and then multiply it times 10,000. And that's roughly what you can expect to get. If you're a five, you can expect a $50,000 a year man. If you're a six, you get a $60,000 a year guy. If I use seven, you can get a 70,000. If you're an eight, you can get an 80. Nine, you can get a 90. If you're a 10, you can go for 100 plus. According to your market. Now, of course, there's some flexibility, but it's a guideline. And see, a lot of women don't like to hear that your income and education only only matters after your attraction is there, after we're attracted to you. Oh, Lord, I got all these people calling in. Uh, we only have five more minutes, guys, so I'm going to try to get through these. Who's been here? Naturally, you're not there. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Hello. can you hear me? I can. What's going on? Hi, Kevin. How are you? I am well. What you got for me? Um, I just want to call in because I did. Um, I called in a few days ago and I did use your advice and I talked to my dad about some things. Um, I, so I just want to say thank you about that. And um, from taking your advice, I also talked to some women in my family. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of corresponds with what you're talking about tonight. And I think that um, modern women are angry because <laughs> we're kind of trained to be. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you're trained to be by yourself. Yeah, and so I just feel like you're it's 20, kind of, you're, kind of you're how old again? You're 20, what? 22. Yeah, see, you're still young enough, and I remember who you are, so you're mm -hmm. still young enough to where you can choose a better outcome than mm -hmm. a woman who's 10 years ahead of you. Correct. So now you at least know uh, mm -hmm. the pitfalls of some of the things that were taught to you early on, and you can decide what how you want to chart the path moving forward. So that's that's all any of us can ask is to just get some information and make a better choice. Correct. Yeah, I just wanted to say I think that is like a big. I, I didn't get to watch the beginning of that's your okay. show, but these I things are getting that, wrong. <laughs> that's a bigger issue. If, if you didn't mention that, that but, we're trained, kind of trained to be this way, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mentioned it, though. Appreciate it. No problem. Have a great day, Kevin. Bye-bye. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be somebody's wife. 22. Uh, and still, um, yeah. You're welcome, whoever you are out there. Uh, I need a really good gift. Don't be sending me no bottle of cologne. I need a real good gift for a wife like that. A real good one. 
real, real good one. And number two, somebody was in the comment section talk about, no, I do not kick it with my followers or subscribers or stuff like that. Y'all ain't going to hear no mess about your godfather. Talk about a way to screw up a business and start in, start uh, messing with people on your channel. Oh, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not going to screw up nothing like that. So, guys, it's 1 o'clock. We had it. Well, we got 51 million people in here. All right. So, here's the thing. Okay, I'll get to the next rest of the callers in a minute. All right, here's the thing. It's not as though you women don't have a reason to be angry. You have been lied to. But the thing is, hashtag, don't blame black men. Don't blame black men. And really, you need stop blaming, period. Stop blaming your mother who was there. Stop blaming your father who wasn't there. Stop blaming the culture, the media. Because it won't fix anything. Except the fact that you were given bad, except the fact that you were lied to. And start being proactive about how to get your mind in the right place to have better outcomes. This is why it's so important for you ladies to get in the gym and start exercising. Get a Peloton bike. You'd be amazed at how much better you would feel when you like how your body looks. You sleep better. Uh, you live better. You cannot say you're happy walking around as a dress size 18. I showed you the, the visuals. You know? And one thing begets the other. And you don't do one at a time. You got to spin all these plates. You need therapy. Bzzz. And while the therapy is starting, you need to get in the gym. Bzzz. And while you and then when these two plates are spinning, after you understand where you're at in therapy, then Start working a personal trainer, matchmaker, dating. Bzz, 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 bzz. All these plates got to spin at one time. You don't have time to do it at bitwise. The, the skills that should have been uh, garnered back in junior high and high school, puppy love, that kind of stuff, dating, chaperone dates between age of 13 and 16, bona fide dates between 16 and 18, that's five years, four or five years worth of dating before high school, before college. Did not happen. All right, anyway, tomorrow, Suit Saturday. Your godfather's going to be out and about in Atlanta. Looking good, Suit Saturday. Next week, we're going to have the mixer. Then after that, I'm fluting out to Malibu. I'm going to spend a week out, uh, four or five, four days to a week out in L.A., see how I like it. Then I'm going to flip a coin and say I'm going to either in L.A., go back to New York City, or stay in Atlanta. Um, yeah, life is good. But here's the thing. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, I am going to, what I'm looking for, gentlemen, here's what I'm looking for. If you have your shit together, I'm looking to start profiling uh, men who verifiably have their shit together in a pre-roll for my shows. Hey, here's Roger from Detroit. He's a 35-year-old accountant. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I want a pre-roll of men who have their shit together. I want a pre-roll of women who have their shit together. So we can start seeing more people who have their shit together. I will verify whether or not you have your shit together. You cannot use this as a way to try to come up to get some free booty. I will block you. If you don't have your shit together, stay over there. If you do have your shit together, I would like to point you in the right direction to the right people. I'm just one guy, one show. I would love to see more men who have their shit together so you can start speaking so women can understand that it's more than just me and guys that I talk about, my clients, but my clients I'm not going to bring on here. So here's the thing. When I put that call out, it'll be on the community tab on my YouTube channel. I will make a short video. Your stuff needs to be linked in level. If you sit, if you respond with an email or whatever, however I do the raise your hand or whatever, I'm going to go to your LinkedIn page and look at your LinkedIn page. 
That's how I'm going to look at this, at your LinkedIn page. Not your Facebook, not your Instagram, not your website, your LinkedIn. If you have your shit together, great. An index of men who have their shit together. Because I want to meet more men who have their shit together countrywide too. Because I want a big ass network of men who have their shit together. And ladies, after I get all my guys that got their shit together, guess what? I'll be looking for women who have their shit together too. Because everybody's not going to be in the mix group, but there, I want to, I'm going to, so I'll go ahead and talk about, I'm going to give a men's only group and a women's only group in addiction, in addition to the mix. Why? Because life is about people and about networks and pe helping people come together uh, for, for beneficial reasons, benefits the connector. Make no mistake, that's a selfish reason. I want to become stupid rich by helping people get what they want. Not lying to them. Helping people get what they want. That's one of the that's my chosen path of leadership. By helping folks get what they want, I get what I want. That's the way I believe. That's the way I'm set up. So if you're interested, <clears throat> I will let you know. And remember, shit together. I will be expecting full photographs, face, you know, looking like you business. Yes. Yep. That's why LinkedIn level. I don't want no, I don't want no women with looking over your shoulder. I don't need your ass shots. Don't say it. no. No. LinkedIn level, ladies. Put on the yeah, LinkedIn level. Let's just leave it to link LinkedIn level. All those other things are for other places. All right? All right. So I'm tired. It's past one o'clock. I got to get me something to nibble on before tomorrow. It's been a great week. We're back in full effect. I'm locked down, but I love the networking opportunity. And that's all we can ask for. The world is going digital. And over here, I, I try to push the envelope and be out ahead of the curve. You know, this channel is my channel, but this is about this is about. It's about us all. It ain't just about me. And I don't need to be the only guy over here talking. I would love to have other men coming over and being able to speak on the platform on the panel. But we must, I, I got to have guys out here who people can respect, look up to, admire. Because you step on the shoulder, people are going to look, people are going to ask. You know, and it's not to try to to Mac nobody it's to be who you say you are and then nature will take its course all right man i gotta get up out of here it's fun it's good but it's late uh turn on the ig tomorrow for all that good behind the scenes stuff and as usual until the next time peace we are gone subject line.